Hey, James G here. Today on Persona Studio One, we're going to go over the song screen, just a very generalized. Uh, so when you first look at a new song, you'll kind of have an idea of what you're going to be doing. So here from the startup screen, we're hitting new, and I'm just going to pull up this record and mix, which is a very basic uh, empty canvas. I'm just going to call it test. We'll hit OK. And this takes us to our screen that is the song screen. So right now it looks like a blank bunch of nothing. Um, and so what you have here is this is where your wave files and all your tracks are going to be listed as you add them. Over here is the browse section. This is where you will pull up uh, your virtual or your MIDI instruments, all your effects and plugins and stuff, any loops that you might have and all that kind of information. Down here at the bottom, this browse button will toggle that window. Um, and you can also do uh, F5 or function F5 for you Mac guys like me. Okay. Now, the mix part on the bottom right of this, this is where you're going to pull up your window for your console or your actual mixer. So if I pull it up now, I can punch that button. It's also uh, F3 will do that. This is where, as I add tracks, it's going to build this mixer over across here for me. And then this is also where you set up your input and output, which we will discuss in another video and things. The edit button here is if you're literally going to edit a single track. So once you hit edit on the single track, you'll see a big, huge version of that WAV file where you can get really uh, in the nitty gritty of uh, editing and doing things like that. So that is your main parts of these two screens here. Uh, you can actually move this uh, browse screen. I tend to always kind of have it up because I like access to my plugins really fast. Uh, I just kind of move it over that way because I, I live right here, and most of them you can you can read even when it's that small. Your mixer, the top left of that, it has a you can actually detach this. Uh, for instance, I use dual screens at home, so I detach it and move the mixer to another screen so the mixer is always up. Or you might just want a smaller or whatever version of that. You can do that, and you can just reattach it by doing the same arrow there again. Also, you can just simply move this up and down if you need to see more, more faders. So it's very easy uh, to just kind of point and click and move things in Studio One, and that's by design. They want everything to be very drag and drop, and they want it to be very simple to, to maneuver things in, and that's how you can do that. Up here at the top, this is where all your tools are for if you're cutting... Um, you, you've got your erasing and all this kind of the kind of stuff here. The we'll go over this main tool here, but it basically the way they have it set up now is you can see three things are lit up, and that's because your arrow actually does three different things all at once on the track. It's great, love it, love it, love it. Over here is where you can quantize and you can set your snapping and that kind of stuff. We will go over, but for the most part, when you look at this screen, this is where you're going to add tracks with this little plus sign. Those tracks are also going to show up here if you have your mixer up. And on the browse screen, this is where you're going to pull all your MIDI instruments, effects, and loops and such.